Good morning, my Scorpios. It's Thursday morning and we are doing your reading, my lovely King of Cups. Okay, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are Scorpio, know a Scorpio, feel like being a Scorpio. Well, Scorpio, I'm so glad you're here. And you're like, Stacy, stop saying Scorpio. I mean, I love myself and all, but you're getting on my nerves. And I have to say Scorpio. I get on my own nerves. See, we have that in common. All right, general energy for my Scorpios. General energy for the Scorpios. What's going on? Like Marvin Gaye would say, what is going on? What's going on with you guys? What is it? Ace of Swords Reverse. Well, I didn't expect that, Scorpio. Ace of Swords Reverse. What is influencing the Ace of Swords Reverse? What's influencing the Ace of Swords Reverse? The Nine of Cups Reverse. This feels like a delay of a new beginning. It feels like a delay, procrastination, because somebody needs their mojo back. Nine of Cups Reverse. This is kind of the unhappily ever after card. This is, this is like a lot of happiness. This is like um, wishes coming true. This is, this is the opposite of that, you know? Maybe you're feeling depleted. Maybe you're feeling kind of bogged down. And this Ace of Swords, it, it's, it just feels like lack of clarity of how to get out of this Nine of Cups reverse. How do I get out of this? How do I start over? How, it feels like maybe being boxed in and held back in your life. And you probably crave that new beginning, crave that full energy, but just not knowing how to how to do it. What is the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, Scorpio? The Queen of Pentacles, but you can do it, my dear. Capricorn energy, you can do it. I love that I pulled this card. This is a person who can do it and they can do it all. They can run a business, they can run a home. They, they're just, they're, it's a very capable energy. And Tarot is saying you are very capable in doing whatever you want to do. What is it that you want to do? Maybe, maybe it's not that you feel like you can't. Maybe it's because you are so capable. There are so many things you can do that it's hard to, to pick one with that Ace of Swords reverse of where to begin. It's kind of like trying to needing to organize those thoughts because it's trying to do too much at one time. What's in the past? What's in the past for Scorpio? What's in the past? It is the Page of Pentacles reverse. It's uh, this feels very career around a career. This is I'll be honest. So far, this doesn't feel like around a relationship. This feels like around a, a um, I can't even speak around a Scorpio that really wants more for their life. They want more happiness. They want more joy. They want more fulfillment. And whatever you're doing now isn't getting it. If it's a job, if it is a relationship, if it's where you live, you want to change it up. And I feel like with this Page of Pentacles reverse, you feel boxed in. You feel boxed in with your life. Maybe you feel like you're so tied there, like you, you don't even know how to break away from it. But there is, wow, do you see Page of Pentacles? That's interesting. They did a skeleton of the, the bird. I don't even know what that is. It's a new deck. So I have no idea. I think this person was on an acid trip when they drew these, but I love it. But it reminds me of your death card. I feel like this is where you are. You feel wrapped in your life, wanting to break free, but you you crave that death card of that phoenix rising from, oh, maybe it's a phoenix, rising from the ashes and just flying and letting it all go and leaving it all behind. What's on your mind, Scorpio? What is on Scorpio's mind? What's on Scorpio's mind? The Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Is that a cauldron? I love that. And look at her eyes. Look at her eyes. They're like, can you, I know you probably can't see it. They're super light green or light blue, but look at the cauldron it's brewing something new up. You know, it's, this is passion. This is, this is your passion. This is lack of passion where you are or where you've been. What's in the near future? What's in the near future? the three of wands reverse. I feel like this Aries energy is turning your back to where you were. See how her back is and then she's only looking forward. I feel like that's where you are. Maybe that's where you are contemplating, picking a path. This is actually doing it. This is this is no longer waiting for your life to happen because I just I have such a bone to pick with this card. It's it's waiting for your ships to come in and it's like I feel like who wants to wait? 
that that's where procrastination is that's where your page of pentacles reverses and your ace of swords reverse and nine of cups the longer you wait the more of the nine of cups reverse you are because you are very capable to make shit happen this whoever i'm reading for isn't a person to wait you need to do you need to create you need to capture life by both hands and and run with it and that is why i feel like with the page of pentacles reverse you were just waiting there waiting for a sign waiting for waiting for whatever and this is whoop no longer waiting this is somebody who says i'm not waiting for a ship to come in i i'm i'll go run something and, and get my ass going and i love that all right let's oh look at that scorpio it's your card reverse tower reverse what else is it in a king of swords reverse tower reverse probably letting something go i feel like this the king of swords reverse could be lack of clarity and it could even be depression to be honest and something that you were trapped in with this tower but i love it with the tower reverse you're just letting it fall bottom of the deck the energy going underneath because i feel like whatever you're in if this is a relationship or a job for you it became too much it became too stagnant it became too boring it became there's something in your soul that just craves more that you just you crave more you want to do more you just want to be more and i feel like the longer you stayed in that energy and not not actually got into this three of ones reverse the more the nine of cups reverses because you know by actually going off this table into your future it's it, this is personal happiness. This is happiness not because you got into a relationship and let's just say you didn't have two pennies rubbed together and you got into a relationship with somebody who's really wealthy. That's not what this card is about. This card is about knowing thyself, knowing thy worth, being happy with what you have and creating your own gold, your own nine of cups, filling your own cups. It's a very single individualistic but happy card. And I think that's what you want. That's what you want because you know you can do it. Like I said, you are very capable, Scorpio. Okay, what is this Ace of Swords reverse and the Nine of Cups reverse for Scorpio? What is this Ace of Swords reverse and the Nine of Cups reverse for Scorpio? What is this Ace of Swords reverse and the Nine of Cups reverse for my Scorpios? Ace of Swords reverse and the Nine of Cups reverse. See, I know there's some people out there that don't like reversals. Reversals, are, it's just part of tarot and it's part of the deck. I mean, I will never not do them because I feel like it's a forced message by pretending that everything is all chipper and we just need to read the cards just as is because it's comfortable. Life isn't comfortable. Change isn't comfortable. Reversals cannot be, they may not be comfortable either, but you know what it does do? It makes you focus on the uprights. And Scorpio, what is the upright in this reading? It's the Ace of Wands at the top and it's the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. Because you're a badass Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, you are going to make shit happen. That feels very magician-like because magician is... I mean, kind of a witchy, you know, this is, this is somebody who knows they have everything at their disposal to make a life worth living, to go for a life worth living. The reversals here are the past of what you've been holding on to. The Ace of Swords reverse, the Nine of Cups reverse, and the Page of Pentacles reverse. These three cards is you holding yourself back. Maybe you feel like you needed to. Maybe you had to do it for the kids or for because it was just expected of you. But the longer you stayed, the more the Nine of Cups reverse you were in. I mean, do you guys see how that, that works? This is a person who is inherently a nine of cups upright. And maybe you had to lower your frequency and lower your vibration to stay where people need you or where maybe, maybe you were even holding yourself back because of the change involved here. But ace of wands to me is a lot more powerful than an ace of swords. Swords are mental, wands are action. We have action going on in the future. This feels like a mental game back here. And I feel like you're going to have, it's just, it's like enough. Enough's enough. Okay. What is this Ace of Swords reverse and the Nine of Cups reverse for Scorpio? What's this Ace of Swords reverse and the Nine of Cups reverse? What is the Ace of Swords reverse and the Nine of Cups reverse? It is the Two of Cups reverse. I, I can see that. The Two of Cups, first and foremost, is a connection to your higher self and to your soul. I feel like with this Nine of Cups reverse and the Ace of Swords reverse, not doing what you need to do, you feel 
untethered to your soul, to your path. I feel like I'm reading for somebody who really knows there's something more for them out there than there is in here. And maybe you're afraid to, to walk through that, through that portal, to walk through that door of the future, of going in the full energy, of not having anything planned out and just giving it over to fate. And I feel like the longer you end, the more the Nine of Cups reverses, the, I know I'm not speaking clearly here, the more you're in this old energy the, that forces you to stay in this Nine of Cups reverse, that is the, the catalyst for change. It's kind of like hitting rock bottom within your soul. And you have no choice but to go up. And you're going to take the elevator like the fast track all the way up. It's like this burst of energy. But two of cups reverse is, I mean, it, it definitely could be a breakup in a relationship. And maybe that's why for some of you, that's why you stayed in something for a very long time that didn't make you happy on all levels. But by this, by this breakup, it forces you to turn your back to the past and only look to the future, which is great. Whatever this two of cups reverses to you, it really is the catalyst for a huge ass change for somebody to go out and to go out on their own and depend on their self, on themselves. I can't even speak what the heck is going on to know their capabilities, to know what they have is, is, is more than enough to have the most incredible life that they can imagine, whatever they can imagine they're going to create. And that's what she's doing. It's very, I, it's very magician like energy. Wow, I just noticed, is that a keyhole? Do you see the keyhole? She's inside a keyhole. It's peeking through. That's, that's really neat how they drew that. It's, it's a peek into your soul. This is what you wanna do. This is for a Scorpio who has big ass dreams. And you have the capability of having those dreams come true as long as you get on that path and, and allow yourself to try. Okay, what is this Queen of Pentacles, the reason for the reading? What is that card? It's, ooh, what is this? What is this? King of Cups, that's your card upright. This, These are new decks, but this deck, I. I just did Taurus's reading and I just explained it to them. So I'm probably going to repeat myself all day as I do readings. The, I bought it because see the beauty, I'm a sucker for gold foil. I, I mean, seriously, I have an addiction to gold foil. I love gold foil. So when you, this was on Amazon, I'm like, man, these are beautiful images. Well, that, what I didn't realize, it's only the major arcana and the court cards. All the other cards are like this. So I have to, plus it's in Italian. So I have to really look at it to see what's reversed and what's not, what's a spade, what's a wand. So that's why it takes me some time because yeah, that's your card though. Let's get back to you. That is your cards, King of Cups and a Queen of Pentacles. Because you rely on yourself and your instincts and know that you can do it, look at this. I feel like you are gonna have your own two of cups. I don't feel like I'm reading like a new relationship. It could be, but this is more important. This is about a Scorpio's personal happiness and their happiness is connected to their, their soul's path and your journey. And this feels like this flips this to upright. You, I just love that. You're gonna be in your energy and doing some big shit. I mean, the, yeah, the, I, the Queen of Pentacles, it's just, it feels like somebody is going to go out there and maybe even start a business, go for that higher position at work. This is a lot of, lot of confidence and a lot of happiness because you took a chance on yourself. Take a chance on yourself, Scorpio. What's the worst that can happen? Your dreams coming true? What is this Page of Pentacles reverse? What's the Page of Pentacles reverse, Scorpio? What is it? What is it? The Eighty of Swords reverse. I feel like that should be upright. Or that's what gets you into this. The Eight of Swords reverse. I, I really feel like somebody's at rock bottom within their soul's journey. The, you feel like you hit a wall for some time. And this feels like a burst of energy to break through that barrier. Maybe you felt like there was a barrier or some, something holding you back. And you're just like, I don't know what it is. Why can't, why can't I just go out there and apply for this job, this position or the manager's position at work or start my own business? What is it? What is it that's holding me back? And I feel like you're going to get out of your head with the Eight of Swords reverse, right? And get into action, Three of Wands reverse on the other side. You know why? Because you're using your magician energy. What is this Ace of Wands on your mind? What's this Ace of Wands on your mind? What is the Ace of Wands on Scorpio's mind? And it's the magician reverse. You got to be shitting me. 
This is what pushes you into the magician energy. Look at the, isn't it a beautiful card? I'm telling you, I'm a sucker for gold foil. But seriously, I felt this was a magician. This is where you are. This is where you've been. I knew who I'm talking to is a master magician. This is who you've been all along, but you haven't been connected to your higher self. You've been a two of cups reverse. Therefore, you didn't have the key. See, get it? The keyhole? You didn't have the key to all. You didn't think you had the key to all the capabilities. On the magician's, magician's table is an ace of cups, ace of swords, ace of wands, and ace of pentacles. Those are all freaking new beginnings, right? But for some reason, you felt powerless to grab them. You felt powerless. You felt boxed in. You felt held back. But this is a Scorpio who I feel like in the middle of the night went back to that table and picked them up and put them all in her cauldron or his cauldron and said, let's see what happens. Let's take a chance and see what happens. What, what could be worse? This, what you've been in? Well, you know what that feels like. I don't think you would allow it. I think once you get out of this, even an inch away from it, you, you won't be going back. You will not be going back. I love that. Going from powerless to powerful in a blink of an eye. Blink of an eye. What is the three of wands reverse in the near future? What is the three of wands reverse in the near future for Scorpio? What is this three of wands reverse? It is the four of wands reverse. Four of wands. No, I'm thinking of four of swords. Four of wands reverse. Again, like I said, because it's next to the two of cups reverse, some of you were held back because of a relationship or for some, some type of strong foundation that you probably, with the tower over here, tower reverse, you knew it needed to be let go of, probably held on for a long time, but it, it crumbled. And you found yourself without shelter. And sometimes that's a good thing because it forces you to look within then once you look within to see what you really need to do to make yourself happy, now you're looking forward. You're not looking back. The future does not have a rear view mirror in this reading. You're only looking forward. And this is very full energy. She's ready to, to leap, take a leap of faith on herself. Four of Wands reverse because you know home isn't backwards. It's not where you, it's not where you just came from. That, that foundation is gone. You can't go back to it. That safety zone and comfort zone is all gone. What is this three of wands reverse? Three of wands reverse for Scorpio in the near future. What is the three of wands reverse for Scorpio in the near future? And oh my God, the lovers. I love that. The two of cups and the lovers is similar to the point where this is how, I mean, it's a, it's not depicted on the two of cups card, but traditionally it looks just like that. And there's an angel above them and it's a, a masculine and a feminine energy and everybody is all connected. And it's this trifecta of energy going and going and going. That's being, being connected to your higher self. Here, you're not connected to your higher self. Here, you made the choice because the lovers used to be called the choice, right? You made the choice to look forward and to leave it all behind. To, to take a chance on yourself. And some of you, it doesn't mean you have to, I, don't get me wrong, I don't mean that you, I mean, some of you may be moving, but this isn't about a physical move necessarily. This is about an intellectual, because in the center of the reading, we have an Ace of Swords reverse. That is a mind game. We have an Eight of Swords reverse. I feel like this Eight of Swords upright has kept somebody in an Ace of Swords reverse. But this Ace of Wands flips all these cards. It just flipped them. And just saying, you know what? What is the worst that can happen? Everything coming, you know, all my happiness coming true. You can't get worse than a Nine of Cups reverse, right? Because this is personal devastation. Ten of Cups reverse is kind of like a breakup, like a Two of Cups reverse or a Four of Wands reverse, like a divorce. But a Nine of Cups reverse is worse than a Ten of Cups reverse because this is a personal devastation. This is somebody within their soul not living their best life. And when you when you have that fire that burns within to, to, to create something and you're not creating it, I don't, there's, there's very few things worse than that to carry around. It becomes heavier and heavier and heavier. And this is you throwing it all in and taking a chance on yourself because you know that is obtainable. You can get this. You are a queen of pentacles. You are the king of cups in this reading. You're even the freaking magician. So what's stopping you? Because I don't think fear is going to stop this kind of person. Not anymore. I love that, Scorpio. I do, I do. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your week and weekend, guys. I'll see you hopefully on Monday. Take care.